Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be opening up a Dollarama $4 card pack consisting of uh, 40 Yu-Gi-Oh! trading cards. Um, this is this is um, by a company called Pristine. Uh, this is actually my third video that I'm covering um, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Um, first one I did, I got, I got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, trading card pack here, specifically the of the Speed Duel variety. This I got a Dollar Tree for one twenty-five and came with four four cards in this tiny foil. And I also did another one did another one in my really big video along with a whole bunch of trading car, uh, hockey cards as well. Um, but now this time I'm I'm doing one that I got from uh, Dollarama, something I something I have never done before. And I'm curious to see whether, whether um, and this is a case of quantity over quality or quality. Well, sorry, this is a case where quantity triumph trumps trumps quality or qu quality trumps qu quantity. Well, you know what I mean. The more you know, the more cards I have in one pack. Whether or not the giant packs have better cards or the smaller packs, which cost less, have better cards. Uh. Uh. So I should mention that. All right. So each side of this has twenty cards. So let's open up. Let's actually just do it all at once. Uh, careful here. Well, and I already dropped some. Great. It's really hard to record when you only have one hand available. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's grab these cards. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. I got Goki, the Power Load, Power Load Ogre. I'm pretty sure this one was like the other side. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Pianissimo, that's a spell card. Um, let's see here. Balance of Justice. Got a trap card. Snowman Effect. Trap card. Pyramid of Wonder. Spell card. Hmm. Four stars. Piwareth. The Ghost Pirate. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, amazing pendulum spell card. Ooh, this one looks really nice. It's a holographic one. Inf Infernoble Knight Oliver. Mahjong M Munia Maiden. That's a really weird card. Oh. Vampire Domination. Trap card. Block Spider. One star. Battle Scar Trap Card, Five Star Red Herod Hasty Horse. You know, I'm curious as to whether or not these are real or not. I can't tell. I mean, Battle of the Elements. I mean, if anybody knows if these are real or fake, please let me know. Cross Debug, two stars. Destiny Hero, Draw Hand, four stars. Okay, next up we got, uh, sorry for the poor quality, Satellar Knight Battle Geese, what? Yeah, that's four stars. Um, ooh, Light Pulsar Dragon, this one's a hol- Wait, was this a holographic? Oh no, that's, it's just light. It's just the just the font that's holographic. Mm, same with this one, Curse of Dragonfire, five star, and Goblin King, one star. All right, that's twenty. Of, that's we're already through half of this. Come on. Next up, the Lady in White, White, three stars. Whoop.
Keeper of Dragon Magic, four stars. Starlight Road Trap Card. Mech Lord F Fortress Spell Card. Three, four stars. Infornable Nightmate. Wait, wait, didn't we have another one of this already? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's a similar one. What? Yeah, these cards are slippery. Orchestrated Einsatz. Spell card. Okay. We got a six star soul of purity and light. We got Orcus Nightmare. That's a seven star. I'm assuming I can, I'm pretty okay. I, column switch spell card. I'm pretty sure it's the stars that are determinants of the rarity. Salaman, Great Mole. Well, this one is a high star level. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, how many stars is that? One, two, three. Oh, nine stars. BS Blaster Cannon Core. Salaman, Great Foul, four star. Ooh, this one actually is a holographic one. Uh, this is a one-star white mare. Yeah, you can sort of see the glint there. Backup secretary, three-star. Picaroo second sight. Ooh, cool. What's this one? This is number 40, Gimmick Puppet of Strings. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 star. Alright, almost. Sir Yuja's Shackle Trap Card. Solitary Sword of Poison. Uh, Crusadia Reclusia. And Xyz Revive Splash Trap Card. Okay, that pretty much does it for the cards here. I think we got like two holographic ones. Hmm, not too bad, I guess. Um, I mean, if we're talking about just determining the quality just by the stars, I think we did pretty well here. Well, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I mean, if you like what you saw and would like to see more Yu-Gi-Oh cards being unboxed, unpacked, well, um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Good night.